So I was searching for a couple different good mods and I came across, and this was on YouTube, I was mainly looking for a gooseneck trailer and I came across this Dodge Cummins, Tomcat 9700 Gaming, he's a, he's a YouTuber, he was using a gooseneck on this truck. So I was trying to figure out, okay, well, how do I get the gooseneck? Um, and it looks like the gooseneck comes with this truck. So I downloaded, downloaded this 93 Dodge Ram Cummins first gen. We're gonna test her out. Okay, now this is how this, oh, now this is how this beauty is stock. A little side note, I've recorded this video like four or five different times and my computer or my mic got messed up each and every time. So I've actually done a ton of different stuff on this game with this truck. I've built out this truck a bit, but I'm still gonna build it out again, essentially. But this is how it comes stock. Uh, it looks beautiful. I really don't wanna do anything to it, but we're gonna make this truck look pretty sick here. Got her in two wheel drive. It's a first gen coming. So if you guys don't know about these, I guess a little insight is these kind of have some fame behind them known to be really legendary engines. Uh, the 12 valve Cummins and then with a first gen or second gen body type, a lot of guys really love these truck trucks. And so I'm thinking what we do on this truck is take her into the garage, put duels, uh, turn into a dually, put smokestacks, lift it, and then we're gonna turn this into a, like a hole in truck because we gotta go through a lot of mud. We got a whole different things around here. So this isn't gonna do, even though I, I really don't wanna touch it. Okay, here we go. Engine. Upgrade engine. We'll purchase that. Gearbox. Off-road gearbox. Purchase that. Suspension. I want the highest suspension possible. So we are going to lift this all the way. We're, it's still going to be able to haul. It says hauling. So we should be fine. Now tires. I want to go dually on this. But I can't get a mud tire on the dually version. So we're just gonna have to go the biggest off-road tire possible, which is a 36 inch MT Baja claw dually. So we'll purchase that, 13 grand, my gosh. Okay, I need to save some of my money. We're gonna save a bit of money here. Um, we do win a gooseneck hitch. I don't know who made this game or who made this gooseneck hitch, but that is like a swollen regular gooseneck ball. We do not need a five inch ball for a gooseneck trailer, man. I've never seen something like that before in my life, but it is what it is. That's literally like a five or six inch ball. If you guys don't know, usually they're like two and three eighths or three inch, but no. Snow Runner, they have to be five or six inch balls. We'll put her in there. If the Cummins is hauling 200,000 pounds, that'll be perfect for it. Now I do want to go flatbed on this, but I don't have much money left. Okay, rooftop, you need running lights. They look good on every single truck. I'm serious. They make a truck look so much better. Heck, Put them on your car. They'll make your car look better. Bumpers, we'll put on some type of bull, bull bar. Beverage, you guys want a Pepsi? Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow, we'll go Pepsi. Okay, exhaust, we're putting on dual stacks. Perfect. Rim option, we'll just go the black rims. For color option, I love this red color. We're gonna go this red color two-tone on this. There we go, perfect. Okay, a little side story, me being me, <clears throat> and missing recording. I recorded this like four different times and screwed up the audio So I've done tons of missions and done tons of stuff and right now There's a car that we rescued right here and I got that car loaded up and all I'm trying to do is get to here And there's a giant mountain here So I've hauled this car all the way around here through this mountainside and I'm somewhere right here and somehow I need to get to here That's what's happening and I already have the car loaded up and the truck loaded up on this and I think I'm close to being out of fuel. So this is, yeah, so this is where I'm at. I'm stuck, <clears throat> I'm buried, and I'm just trying to get this car over here and I don't have much fuel and I don't think I can fuel up. I could bring a fuel trailer out here. I wonder if I could steal fuel from the other car. Flatbed has fuel. Yeah, so I gotta get fuel somehow too. I may try to go to cabin zone one and see if there's fuel there, if I can make it there. What I'm really trying to do is make it here, uh, but we're gonna to reroute to cabin, nope. We're gonna reroute to cabin zone one and try to make it there on the tank of fuel I have. What I really should do is winch the whole way there. That way I don't have to use much fuel. We're just gonna put her in low. Now this gooseneck trailer came with the truck. It works perfect. It's like a lifted gooseneck. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh, we're tearing this truck up. It works perfect. Okay, I've already used 28 gallons. I don't know if I'm going to make it through here. We're stuck on a giant rock back there. The whole trailer is stuck. 
Somehow my car is staying on back there. But we are about to tip. Okay, let's see if we can do something here. Let's winch. Nope. Okay, guys, the Super Duty's to the rescue. What I'm gonna do is put a fuel trailer. And we're gonna go fill up that Cummins. We still got her in two-wheel drive. I gotta make sure there's fuel. There is fuel in there. Perfect. It only... I wish I could get a bigger one, but here we go. Let's put her in four. Get locked and loaded. Let's go rescue this truck. Okay. That's where I need to go. I'll figure out a way to get there somehow. Now, the reason I didn't buy Duramax here, guys, is just because I didn't have enough money from the Duramax. I still haven't hacked in money or cheated the game, so I don't have that much money. This was $11,000, and the Duramax was like 50, 50 grand. Holy crap, dude. I'm gonna tilt. We are flying. Okay. <laughs> that trailer. I don't care. It's a Ford, man. No Ford tough. Holy crap, I feel bad for that trailer though. Holy crap. Okay. We're making good distance. We're making real good distance. All we gotta do is like cut to the right soon. This do not do this at home, guys, with a tank full of fuel. Holy crap! We hit a stump. <laughs> we try going over the stump. Dude, my trailer. Excuse me, wrecked. I love this truck though. I feel so bad for the trailer. Okay. We're close. The one thing I hate about uh, SnowRunner, and I don't know, maybe there's something to change to this, is it can, First of all, you can't, you, my time's right here. Six o'clock's too dark, but then by the time I get to 11 o'clock the afternoon, it eventually gets pretty darn dark. We are just conquering our way through the woods with this truck. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see how we can get. Okay, guys, we're going as fast as we can across this river. It is so dangerous right now. It's probably going to destroy our truck. No, no. Oh, my God. We're just winching. Oh, my God, I'm underneath the water. Dude, I'm just running the winch. The engine is completely stalled. All I'm doing is just running this winch. The winch is what's pulling us across here. This is horrible. Oh, my gosh. Built Ford tough, right? Oh, no. No, man, we were so close. I can still winch at least. I don't know why it's honking. Okay, let's see if we can turn this on after the water drains out of the exhaust. Okay, so the winch works, and we're pretty darn close to our other truck. Nice. This is how we're going to get around, guys. We're just going to use the winch. <laughs> this is how we're going to drive the dead Ford. I literally destroyed it underwater. Okay, perfect. That'll be good. So all I gotta do is get our truck, this gooseneck, over to here. Spin tires allows you to use the winch without using fuel. So what I can do then is just keep winching to different places. And then once I get into an open area, eventually I'll... Uh... Okay, I think I'm trying not to waste fuel. And in case you guys don't know, this is a mission. And so I have this other truck, or this other vehicle, got destroyed in a s storm, and I'm delivering it back, essentially, right now. Okay, I'm going to start her up for a bit, and just get down this hill, because I do think we are really close. So, here we go. So, oh, shoot. Release that winch. Since we are going downhill, I figured I could probably get through here without wasting too much fuel. But once it gets down below 10... I gotta shut her off. Come on, come on. Okay, we're real close. We're real close. Okay, kill the engine. Yep, so our truck is just right over to the left here, it looks like. It is kind of muddy through there. Do not run out of fuel. We're so close, okay. Release, dude. Guys, we may, I gotta shut this off. I gotta shut it off, Oh, we're gonna run out of fuel. This is our only fuel source. We're going to winch to this truck. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> we need your fuel. This is bad, man. I suck at snow runner. I don't care if you're tipped. Okay. <laughs> we should have fuel. Okay. Oh, you can take fuel from the F2. Okay, scout fuel carrier. There we go. We're fueled up. 
I should try and throw that scout on the back of my truck here. That'd be kind of nice. Nice. Okay, so we're fueled up. And we have to get to here. This shack's near spring. I'm going to just try to get to the cabin zone family. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling it is going to be a mess trying to get to here. Because there's this giant mountain around here. So I think for now I'm going to abort the mission. Because with this mud and stuff and this dodge, it is tough getting through there. I need somebody to guide me. So what I'm going to do is probably, since I can't take the trailer back with me, just leave the trailer here. Okay, so I got my Cummins. At some point, I need to go back and try and get that, get the trailer and truck. I'm going to try and get my, my Ford back here too, the Ford that's dead. Okay, so unfortunately, they don't let you recover trailers that I've found. So I honestly have trailers like scattered all over this map pretty much. If you guys know of a way to recover trailers without like having to get them, you know, the, the hard way, let me know. <laughs> But we're going to save that mission for another day. I've spent the past recordings trying to get to get that truck there. And it is so hard through that mud. I think I'm going to try and get Austin Farmer on here and help me uh, help me do that. But I did get a couple different missions done with a bridge. So we got a couple areas to explore. And just for fun, we're going to load up uh, the Ford and go haul those. And probably stay on pavement. We'll just go up the gooseneck. Nice, nice. Ah, oh, shoot, went too far. So then what it also lets you do is uh, pack trucks, which is just basically a tie down. And then the ramp's a little glitchy in the back here. You'll see me hit activate, oh, come on. You'll see me hit activate ramp in it. You know what, I wanna check one thing. Maybe I was kind of stupid about this, but maybe there is an auxil auxiliary fuel tank on this truck here that I just did not put on when I customized it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop this uh, we're going to detach the trailer. It just sits to the ground. And then I'm going to go put put this in the store and just make sure there wasn't a fuel tank. Because the fuel tank on this is tiny. Extra weight. Give me extra fuel on there. Okay, I don't think there's any extra fuel. It's fine. Oh yeah, now we're hauling. So I got the truck in two-wheel drive. It hauls it just fine. It's just when you get into a four-foot mud, you're going to get stuck. And I did complete this bridge. But first mission complete. This is pretty cool. Got the first gen. Oh shoot, we got mud. Gosh darn it. I want to stay on cement. I have no idea where we're going with this. I'm just driving to explore at this point. We may get... Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Holy crap dude. Okay, we're stuck. Come on. Well, I'm on my way back trying to make it back. But I do have to say, I love this truck. Besides, it does seem to get stuck when you put 20,000 pounds behind it. Watch. It's a good truck. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. We had some fun, destroyed some trucks, but didn't accomplish any missions. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next one.